Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about chat GPT. So if you guys haven't heard of this, this is an awesome new AI technology. So if you guys are new to the channel, like always like subscribe, share and all that stuff, and let 2023 be a great year for us. And if you're coming back, welcome back and join the fun. So as you can see here on my desktop, we have chat GPT. Obviously, if you guys aren't aware, it's an awesome, awesome language that was uh, designed by OpenAI. So you can just go to openai.com. And once you come here, you can click on try chat GPT. And then once you click on there, you will be granted to authenticate. You can authenticate to a Gmail account or create an account. So I want to go ahead and log in. And let's go ahead and hit login here. And I want to go ahead and authenticate with a Gmail account. And I created a Gmail account just for this. So it's at GP, uh, chat GPT, uh, GPT at Gmail. All right. And let's, doesn't matter. I want to go ahead and it's, it's a, a random password that I use anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So now this is gonna authenticate and then redirect me, should redirect me. Sometimes it takes a little a little while because obviously it's a brand new platform and there's probably a quadrillion people on there. So, and I, I was gonna authenticate prior to starting the video, but I figured if you guys are having the same problem, why not, you know, join the fun together. All right, so what, Oh, just once this is authenticated and it redirects us to the actual chat, we'll see that in a second. Let's just go ahead and refresh, see if it gives us a 404. All right. Sometimes, I don't know why, because I guess because it, a million people are on it. So let's try to authenticate again. Just in case you ever get that, you can see. Let's just go to chat. Try this one more time. Let's try to log in. Log in. Okay, let's see if it authenticates us now. Come on. Try to do Google again. Yep, that's fine. Pat chat GPT. All right, so this is what you come to. And sorry about that. But yeah, so it's a free research uh, preview. So pretty much what you can do with this is you know how you Google, for an example, I'm not a developer, right? nor do I claim to be one, and I never want to be one. That's going to be, that's the God honest truth. So say, for example, I want to create a Python script, right? And I don't, I know a little bit about Python, but I'm not a Python developer or scripter, but I can do some basics, right? So say, for example, I want to create a basic port scan, right? A, 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 just do a TCP scan, you know, do an IP sweep or whatever, just something super simple. So let, let's go ahead and ask the chat, uh, create, let me see if I can bring this in a little bit, create a IP scanner with Python. Okay, so here's an example of an IP scanner with Python, and boom, it literally writes out the code for you. How cool is that? you can't ask for something better, right? And now literally you can take this, you know, match it up to your subnet, whatever you're gonna run this against, and literally pop this in. So let's do it real quick. Let's try to, uh, let's copy this. Let's copy this code, Did it copy, okay. Let's open up a terminal, right? So let's, for an example, let's go ahead and just do nano uh, IP scanner.py, right? And let's just paste that bad boy in here, right? And let's do control X, Y, and now we have this IP, uh, IP scanner.py. So if we run, obviously, let's just see if it runs. PY, PY. I'm not sure if it's, 
if it's running in, see if it runs. I'm not sure if it's Python 3 or if it's Python 2 or whatever. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and make it executable. Uh, Control C, that's not working. All right, so let's just kill this. And let's try it again. Let's just open up another terminal. All right, so let's give this a go again. Uh, let's do an LS. So it's right here, right? So what I want to do is change really quick. I'm just going to change mod 777. It's fine. IP scanner. All right, so now it's an executable. You could probably see that if we do. Man, this is way too big. Hold on. All right, let's try this again. Let's do. Let's just see. Okay, so right here we have 777, so it's all good. We have it. So now let's go ahead and put Python. See if it runs. It's probably not running because I need to do sudo. Let's try to do sudo. Shouldn't need sudo, but I'm not sure why. It's not even given an error. Let's, uh, I would like to get this to work. So let me see something. Let me do this really quick. Let's open up the terminal again. And let's do if config. So my IP address is 172.16.1. So let's go ahead and cat the IP scanner.py. So we may, like I'm not a Python expert, I'm gonna be honest, but let's see if we can change this IP address. So let's do nano and let's change this IP. So, Mine is 172.16, right? I think it's dot one. Uh, let me see. Yep, 16.1. All right, so let's see if we can do dot zero. And let's control X, yes. Let's do sudo python ip. There it goes. Look at that. So it wasn't Python 3. It was actually just Python. And now you can see it's running. And now 192.168.1.02 is up. And it's actually running this script. And I didn't need to be no Python developer to do that, right? I had to troubleshoot some stuff and, and, and work through some stuff because this is not my area of expertise, I'm gonna be honest. But it's up, it's running, right? So we can minimize that, let that do its thing. So say for example, we wanted to do something like a, uh, let's see. Uh, what is, let me see, create, a Java script, oh, Java, oh, I spelled JavaScript wrong. JavaScript, hmm, I don't even know, JavaScript or web page, I don't know. Whoops, I spelled that wrong, but I guess it's gonna, and look, hello world, and it's pretty much doing a basic JavaScript and it's pretty much saying, you know, hello world. It's doing the calls. And this is pretty, pretty cool. And for example, say for example, we can stop this generating. So let's see, what is the best hacking certification? 2023. And let's see what it says. It's difficult to say what is the best hacking certification. So let's see if it gives us any certified for hacker. Let's see if the OSCP, yeah, OSCP, CISSP, 
CISA, GCIH, Security Plus. So these are the top six six, uh, security certifications. So, and the last one, and say for example, you wanna uh, write, write me a rap song about New York, because I'm from New York, all right? So first one, New York City has, <laughs> that never sleeps. Okay, so now it's pretty much writing a song, right? How cool is this? This is pretty much the future of technology, right? I don't have to be no songwriter. I don't have to know anything about singing, making a verse, making a hook, making an outro, nothing. It's pretty much, this is writing me a, a song about New York. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but you can see where I'm getting at, you know? So pretty much it's saying, you know, New York, city that never sleeps, where the streets are always <laughs> packed deep, from Bronx to Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten, that's this, these cities get the vibes that always happen. So pretty much, you know, obviously if you're familiar with New York, these are, these are the boroughs, right? So Queens, Staten Island, Manhattan, Brooklyn, so, yeah, but this is pretty cool, right? Like, this pretty much wrote me a song in a matter of 10 seconds. So, yeah. So, this is pretty much a overview of what is chat uh, GPT. And if you want to learn more, just play with it. And it's such a powerful tool. So, I'm super excited about this. Hopefully, you guys are. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about the little, you know, this is real world, right? Like, I'm not a developer. I had a troubleshoot. Let's go back really quick before we, we cut out and see. So the only one is up is that, obviously we can do an Nmap scan and all that good stuff, but uh, yeah, so pretty much it ran that to our network and I know that's the only machine that's up because I don't have anything else running that's the only VM. So that is correct. But if I had multiple VMs and I just created a Python script in a matter of seconds, I had to troubleshoot it and make some changes and it's running in Python, not Python 3, but you can see how easy it is to do it with, with this new AI technology. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and if you have any other recommendations, please leave it in the comments below. And until next time, have an awesome day and talk to you guys soon. Take care.